Hi guys, um, I figured out that uh, most of these Xperia S's are now 2011 devices so the battery life has gone down a lot since you've bought it because it's now already three years old so I was figuring out how I could increase my battery life the most and I didn't really care what ROM it was or anything, I just wanted the ROM with the longest battery life and up till now I'm most keen on this ROM it gives me a battery life of almost two days sometimes usually it's one and a half days like if you would get up at eight in the morning you'll go to bed at twelve it would still be running pretty well if you um, control your 3G so you don't leave on all the time but you just yeah the Wi-Fi always leave on so so yeah um, I hope this would help you or I hope you would actually use this ROM because um, the 4.4 uh, Android version ROM that I just reviewed, the Cinea Mod, whatever it is, 11. Uh, that one uses a lot of the battery, I must say, so this one is yeah, a good equivalent. But the thing is, it's still based on the 4.0.4 version, so it's, it's still the ice cream sandwich. So to get back onto this ROM, it did take me quite a while because I was running on a 4.4 kernel, so I had to use Flash Tool and then downgrade it to... 4.0.4 which is pretty easy. I've got a tutorial on how to downgrade um, the Xperia S to gingerbread. You can look at that tutorial and then instead of using the gingerbread firmware you just download the um, the ice cream, sand uh, ice cream sandwich one and then you've already got the kernel because you can use this um, you can use this ROM on a, yeah on a, on a locked phone as well you don't, uh, on a locked bootloader so yeah, um, I'll just go over the ROM a few seconds. Uh, it's just a MIUI uh, version uh, 3.2.22, and yeah, I like it. Um, the one I got doesn't come with updates so far. Well, no, I don't think they will make any because it's a pretty old ROM, I guess, because I remember putting it on my phone almost in the beginning when I started um, unlocking my phone. But yeah, I would definitely try this out if you need some more battery it's really smooth like whatever you do it's really fast reaction it's really smooth um, it's got its own market store which is called the MIUI store with nice apps even though it's all most of it's in Chinese on the app store but that's the only thing for the rest um, it's a nice change from all those other Android version ROMs like this is based on less Android I guess it's like more yeah I don't know I don't know what it is it's, it's kind of iPhone-ish because you don't have a uh, tab, uh, what do you call it? Um, the 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 docks like the where all the applications are, and you just have it all on your home screen. So that's pretty cool, I guess. And you can adjust all these shortcuts here. Wait, I can turn up my brightness. Oh, I think that's too much. I can turn up my brightness here, and you've got all the things. You can adjust this, and you've got notifications here. And I guess the the settings are pretty nice as well. Or well, nothing special, just. It's got some extra things, so definitely go and try it out if you're sick of having a, a really bad battery life. Just try this one out. And there's another ROM I would also suggest if you want battery life, and it's called Existence. I'll put the link for both ROMs. Um, I've done a review on the Existence ROM. It's called the Xperia S on Xperia Z ROM. That's what I called it, but it's basically just an Existence. And it doesn't come with a custom recovery, so you're going to have to use that, but... Um, yeah, once you're in existence, you'll be really happy with um, the battery life. Those are the two only ROMs I've ever used that have actually got a decent battery life. They're probably even better than the stock ROMs. So yeah, as I've already said a few times, just go and check it out. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.